you're going to need patience. Ooh. You're going to need patience for people who don't believe God with you when you believe God. That's yes. right. That's right. That's right. You know you heard God, Ellen. Right, 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 and if right. I don't care, that wasn't God. You just the devil. Well, amen. There you go. I'm going to be patient with you. And just wait for the Lord. That you would be strengthened with might unto all patience and long suffering. What does it say? Look at it. What does it say? What attitude? With joy. My friend Nicole can smile through anything. She goes, Amen. Or she, I'm going to tell on her. She really got it when that eyebrow go up. I can't do the eyebrow, but she can. <laughs> with joyfulness that no matter what we're experiencing or going through no matter how long the wait is that we are able to do it with a heart of joy That's yes. right. which comes from a confidence of knowing God have you experienced anything? I know you know God is faithful yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I heard what pastor said he said the minute he said forget it we ain't getting the building just never mind God said okay you're in that spot good now I can step in and tell you what to do. Yeah. Glad wow. you're done. Right? Wow. You're done now. Wow. Great. With joyfulness, with a confidence of God's ability, with a confidence that God heard you. Right. He right. sees you. Right. Right. He knows where you are. He knows what you're going through. He's not surprised. God isn't in heaven like, oh my God, stop everything. Did you see that? <laughs> Cut off guard. I didn't know that was going to happen. What do we do now? Like, really, God? No. God's like, yeah, you're in it. Yes. Remember Paul said, Paul said, I got a problem. I have an infirmity. Take from God, I'm not taking it from you. My grace is sufficient. Mm -hmm. Right? There's some things that we just got to stick it out. That's right. Because his grace is sufficient. Right. But I believe that oftentimes what determines how we go through is how we go through. Right. Are you going through kicking and screaming and fighting? My, 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 my. You know, I'm glad that babies are born That's sleeping. Because right. imagine if they fought back. Uh-huh. Imagine if a baby during birth just said, oh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. A whole bunch of women be like, I am childless. They fight. <laughs> right? No. There is an ease. There is a comfort. There is a, it's just a process. And we have to go through it like a process. You got to go through it understanding that this is just where I'm at right now. Right now. But I'm enduring. And I'm not enduring in my own strength. I'm enduring in the strength of God. Right. When we sing that song, Be My Strength, I'm not asking God for muscle. Come on now. My Lord Jesus. I'm asking God to strengthen my heart. Strengthen. I'm asking God to strengthen my mind. Yeah. Because don't you know when you're down, the enemy comes after you. Yes, yes. He knows you're down. He's not, he's not like, there's no referee in spiritual warfare, right? right. It's no dean whistle and everybody gets to go to their corner to review the <laughs> That's not life, right? Ding! Oh, the devil's like, oh, it's a break. <laughs> I needed some water, too. I'm tired. That's not what happens. That's not what happens. Understand clearly that the enemy is like, oh, you're down. That's great. Let's get reinforced. That's right. He is. And so what does God do? God puts you in community so that when you get down, God says, good, bring in the reinforcements. Get, yes. get Minister Kula because she prayed. Get Minister Valerie because she prayed. Get Pastor because he hears from God. Send in reinforcements yes. to help you be strengthened, yes. to help you endure, to help you sustain, to help you keep your mind right and clear, right, 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 right. to help you do what God has told you to do. Verse 12, this becomes my favorite. He says, I'm praying for you. He said that giving thanks unto the Father, that you would do this, that you would give thanks unto the Father, which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. That as crazy as we were, as sinful, I know, now this is what we talk about often. Oftentimes we talk about the sin that has happened against us, right? Someone hurt me, someone neglected me, someone abused me, someone did sin against me. Because that's comfortable. But we very rarely want to think of ourselves as the victimizer. Right. We very rarely want to think of the sin that we did against someone else. About the sin that we did to our own bodies. About the sin and how that offended God that we did. I did that. Yes, that's right. I smoked a pound of weed in one night and crawled home like a dog. On my, on my knees, literally, yeah. because I couldn't walk. I did that. Yeah. I cussed people out. You know what I mean? I stole people's boyfriends. Yeah. I did that. I cussed. 
I cheated. I fought. I was hateful. I was unforgiving. I was bitterness. I was nasty. Come on now. That was me. I did that. But I thank God that he has made me meet to be a partaker of the inheritance of the saints in life. That when I couldn't qualify myself, the Lord qualified me. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And now when I literally could not pay the price, Jesus paid the price for it. When I, who is not a Jew, had no hope or no chance at all of knowing God or being included in his salvation plan or having any right to a single promise in the word of God, that Jesus said, I'm going to graft you in. I'm going to qualify you to be an inheritor. An inheritor. What is the inheritance that we have? We have the right to know God. Yes. You ever talk to people and when you listen to them, this is your look? <laughs> because the stuff that they said is so stupid about God. Yes. It's just no other way to say it. It's stupid. That you think, you don't even know God. Like if you knew God, you would know that that doesn't even sound right. My Lord. Well, God doesn't love me because. Uh -huh. well, well, what exactly did you do? Uh -huh. I want to get nosy. I want to know what it is because it must be real good if God does, just decided to go against his own word and I love you. Right? Jesus. I know what you're talking about, man. Right? Jesus. They, well, you know, people get real deep and you just be like, did you go to church on Sunday? Well, you know, I just, you know, stupid. They don't know the Lord, but we know the Lord. Yes. And it's a privilege and it's a right that God gave to us. Yes. Everybody, now listen, understand that God is good to the just and the unjust. That is what the word says. But everyone does not have the promises. Yes. Good. 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 Everyone doesn't have access to the promises. Everyone doesn't have the right to enter into a covenant relationship with God. Yes. Everyone doesn't have the right to go to God and pray. And God hears them. Oh, and God responds to them. I mean, we talk about faith on Wednesday. There's plenty of people that have faith. They just don't have it in God. Does that mean that God just responds and reacts to them? No. Good. Jesus said, I don't know you. Depart from me. Mm -hmm. Well, I did this and I did that. That's great. Don't know you. <laughs> I don't know you. Right. But we have the right to know God. And that's an inheritance that we have. Amen. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. My Lord. Mm. Verse 13, it says, he has translated us. I'm sorry, who? verse 13. He says, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. You know what you were. You know what you are. Come on now. Mm -hmm. You know what you are. You know what you what you you know what pushes your buttons. You know what will make you backslide. You already know. You know what is the thing that will just turn it all around for for bad. But God has translated us out of that kingdom. Translation is listen. When you get saved, it's instantaneous. It's not a process, right? Like so, let me say this. There is a process to work to see the fruit. Amen. But as far as the spiritual is concerned, you already, you, you've been jumped in. Right? right. 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 Anybody that know games? You're in. You're in. Water baptism filled with the Holy Ghost, you are translated. Oh, yes. Yes. And you have to remind yourself of that. Yes. You got to yes. tell yes. other people, baby, baby, I'm in a whole different kingdom. I'm just, I can't do that. Right. And even if you do do it, you got to tell them, I understand. I am in a different kingdom. I just reverted it, my bad. Amen. I'm sorry. I just slipped back a little bit. I forgot. I'm going to do new rules. But I'm in a different kingdom now. Yes. You are translated out of darkness, which means yes. that you are not subject to bondage. Mama. You are not subject yes. to addiction. Mama. You are not subject to habit. You are not subject to those things. Mama. Look at this. Turn to Romans. Romans chapter 6. Romans chapter 6 at verse 15. Amen. It says, what then? Shall we sin because we are not under law, under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Mm -hmm. Know you not that to whom you yield yourself servants to obey, his servants you are to whom you obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness? Verse 17, but God be thanked yes. that you were. You were the servant of sin. Yes. 